Hi everybody, I'm Giancarlo Caltabiano. Felicia couldn't be here today, so I'll be flying solo. And today we're doing a quick review of Einstein, uh, potentially one of the brightest minds of the 20th century, um, which is funny and ironic because the video right before we're talking about uh, the Thai challenge, which is probably some of the dumbest minds of the 21st century. So yeah, it's... Um, how, how far we've fallen as a civilization. But who cares, because we got board games. Now, is Einstein any good? Let's find out. Players take on the role of Einstein in various phases of his life. They might end up working together on an equation, but only one phase will accumulate the most prestige points at the end of the game. Game here is set with each player having a phase of Einstein's life with the matching cards and assigned in the right sequence. They'll draw three cards from their deck. Now each player will have the six tiles from the field of science, physics, mathematics, philosophy, and chemistry. Major theory cards will be shuffled here and three revealed. You're ready to play. Turns are played in a clockwise manner starting with the Einstein here. He'll play two of his tiles and connect them in the middle of the table. Players will now build from this communal theory. Two restrictions when placing tiles. At least one side must correctly match another side by having a line connect to it, and the idea tile must lay flat on the table, meaning you can't pile it on top of other tiles. When playing tiles, it's possible you'll gain prestige points. If you complete an inspiration card in your hand, you'll score prestige as listed on the corner here. It's possible you complete more than one per turn. These involve having certain shapes and can be completed using other players' idea tiles. When doing so, they'll score prestige points as well, one for each ideal tile used belonging to them. These prestige awards do not apply for other players' idea tiles when completing major theories. These can only be collected when placing your idea tile and it immediately satisfies the condition. Completing a major theory card usually scores you a little more, but these are first come, first served by any player. After placing your two idea tiles and possibly completing inspirational or major theory cards, your turn ends. You'll draw inspiration cards back up to three, replenish major theory cards to three, and play passes to the next Einstein. When players add their last inspiration card or the last major theory card is drawn, or a player has only two types of idea tiles in their stock, the game end triggers. Players will play the same amount of turns, meaning the last turn will be played by the eldest Einstein. We then go to final scoring. Simply total up the inspiration and major theory cards you completed, plus any prestige tokens, and the player with the most wins. Einstein is interesting in the sense that you feel like you're collectively working on a theory, like a puzzle. But I honestly found it a little weird that you're all competing against one another as well. A lot of times you're furthering your own goals, but inadvertently help out another player based on what inspiration cards they have. So there's that ticket to ride feel where you might help or hinder another player's plan, but it was all done by sheer luck and not a conscious decision. If that doesn't bother you, this game might be for you. It certainly has tactical elements, it might be a little harder on the long-term strategy, but it is a nice blend of light gameplay and puzzle-scratching intensity. Games are fairly quick, besides uh, light analysis paralysis moments, which makes it for a good filler. Artwork is certainly fitting for the theme, which is really cool by the way, as I find a lot of scientists work together on a theory, but only one gets the credit. And the components are nice and sturdy. Something you might want to check out, Einstein scores a 7 out of 10. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.